general fluid lines and fittings. What two general types of fluid lines are commonly used in aircraft plumbing? Metal tubing and flexible hose. How is metal tubing classified in size? Metal tubing is sized by outside diameter in 1 16th inch increments and wall thickness. What are the identification markings usually found on flexible rubber hose? Hose size, manufacture, date of manufacture, pressure, and temperature limits. What caution must be observed when deburring the end of tubing after cutting? Extreme care that the wall thickness is not fractured or reduced in size. What are the parts of a military standard flareless tube fitting? A body, a sleeve, and a nut. What are the two kinds of flares generally used in aircraft plumbing systems? the single flare and the double flare. What is the principal advantage of flexible Teflon hose? High operating strength at elevated temperatures. How can you tell that a flexible hose has been installed in a twisted position? by the identification stripe running along the hose length. When fabricating a flexible hose, what percent of the total length must be allowed for freedom of movement under pressure? From 5 to 8 percent of its total length. What happens to a flareless tube fitting when it is over tightened? The nut drives the cutting edge of the sleeve deeply into the tube, causing the tube to be weakened. What type of fittings material should be used with stainless steel tubing? stainless steel fittings. In addition to being securely clamped in place, how should metal, fuel, and oil, and hydraulic lines be installed in an aircraft? They should be electrically connected. What is the purpose of a sleeve on a flared tube connection? The nut fits over the sleeve and when tightened, draws the sleeve and tubing flare tightly against the male fitting to form the sleeve. When inspecting fittings, how may a flareless fitting be distinguished from a flared tube type? There is no flare cone and no space between the threads and the end of the fitting. How is flared tubing affected by over tightening of the fittings? The tube flare is likely to be damaged, forming a weak point which may fail when under pressure. What percentage of flattening is allowed when bending metal tubing? Do not exceed 75% of original diameter. 
scratches and nicks may be repaired if they are less than what percent of the wall thickness? 10%. Flexible hoses should be clamped at least every how many inches? 24 inches. What is the difference between flare angles for aviation and autom automotive flares. Aviation is 37 degrees, automotive is 45 degrees. Name at least two synthetic materials commonly used in the manufacture of flexible hoses. Buna N. Uh, neoprene, uh, butyl, ethene, propylene, DN rubber, EPDM, and Teflon. I was wondering if I'm pronouncing those correct. <laughs> you might want to look at those. <laughs> What is the maximum interval for repeating the required markings on a flexible hose? Not more than nine inches along the length of the hose. When selecting a flexible hose for use in a phosphate ester-based hydraulic fluid, uh, SkyJol, in other words, system, the hose should be made of which synthetic rubber compound? Uh, Butyl. Name at least two considerations when installing flexible hose assemblies. Slack, flexing, twisting, bending, clearance, and clamps. <laughs> 